can I parallel charge two 6S batteries if one is at 3.9 and the other is at 3.6? Here's the deal about that H2O. You can. Best practice is 0.1 volts per cell. So if one's at 3.9 and one's at 3.6, that is not the best practice. That is 0.3 volts per cell. Uh, the reality is that if you take a fully discharged, like 3.5 volts, 3.3 volts, uh, if you take a discharged 6S and a fully charged 6S, like 4.2 volts, and you plug them in together, and I did this as an experiment with two batteries, what will happen is that at first, like 10 or 15 amps will flow from the fully charged battery into the discharged battery. And that 10 or 15 amps will flow for a pr pretty short period of time. It drops off very quickly because the voltage on the discharged battery comes up very quickly and the voltage on the, on the fully charged battery starts to drop very quickly. And so what you see is a big surge of current, maybe 15 amps perhaps, that quickly drops down to like seven or five, five amps. And then that sort of coasts down until they equalize. Now that's not good. That's not good for your batteries. It's not like you should just be doing this every day for fun. But if you think about it, 15 amps on a 1500 milliamp hour battery, that's a 10 C easy math. A 10 C charging rate is bad, but you're only at that rate for 20, 30 seconds, perhaps. So you probably hurt your battery a little bit, but it's not like boom, oh, fire. What's really bad is when you combine like a 6S and a 4S, and now that 4S is going to go way outside its safe voltage range before it equalizes with the 6S. And that's how you get fires. So I wouldn't recommend that you parallel charge two batteries at 3.9 and 3.6. But if you decided to do that because you were just like, ah, F it, I got to do it. I wouldn't like think you were like being insane and risking like lighting your house on fire any more than usual.